Stevenson picks up the 17-13 win tonight in the Matt Commonwealth semifinals. Glenn Clark with the head coach, Paul Cantabene. Coach, what changed? What flipped there in the second half? for you guys to turn this thing around? Well, I just think that we understood the situation. You know, I thought we displayed one of our worst halves of the year and we just weren't ready there. You know, we were terrible on the ground balls. And, you know, I think the the effort wasn't what we needed to be. I thought they came out with a great effort. And I think it just shows the resolve and character of our guys and what they can do. They play hard and, you know, led by Cam Leidig and Shane Ford, who did just such a, a great job leading us there. And then, you know, the way Zick and those other midfielders, especially Jack and, you know, some of those younger guys are getting in there. And I thought we just put ourselves in some great spots and, I mean, I thought the attack rode well, gave us some second chances, and really were able to start to put the heat on them and uh, get after them. And I thought once we got that two-goal lead, we can just get the next one, and that was it. And we did that, and I thought we did a good job managing the clock at the end of the game, wearing on them, uh, making them. And they were getting tired because, you know, the first half, I think we were a little quick in offense. We weren't getting any face-offs, and then all of a sudden and, and that. And uh, But I was proud of our face-off unit. One of the things that we do is that we have a call that's a stable. It's all our face-off guys, and they push each other to be better. Justin's done a great job for us all year, uh, but I think he's getting a little tired at the end of the year. First go, if it's a freshman, 380 face-offs, something he's taken. It's a little tired, but so we have some other guys that have been working really hard, and I thought it was really the key how Garrett came in and gave us some quality face-offs, and Garrett got a little tired. He's not used to taking that many face-offs. thought he got a little tired a little bit, and then all of a sudden I thought Hap came in and gave us some really good things and scored a big goal there to give up three and that so we know those guys gave us quality and our wing play got much better i thought our wing play in the first half we missed easy ground balls really gave them opportunities and they made us pay so i thought we did a lot of things better in the second half but all we really earned is another day to play sure. and so you know that's what we're excited about did you guys maybe need this challenge here tonight did you need did this team ahead of a championship game maybe need to be faced with some adversity like this to, to i don't know if it's wake up something like that and have them ready to go well i mean it certainly made my heart beat quicker yeah. you know I mean, so, You're uh, not the only one. Yeah, so, but uh, no, I mean, I, I think it's good to play in tight games. You know, I think they had a lot of fun, and we came out, and we knew they were going to play well, and then we just weren't as ready for them. And if they hit some good shots, and you know, they hit some incredible behind the back shots, and some things are, and some bounces are really going their way. And but I give them credit. Uh, I also want to mention uh, Kevin Wallace, their head coach. You know, he's stepping down after this season. He did such a great job with them, and had some really good guys. And he's gonna, he, we're going to be missing the Mac. He's really a quality individual, and he's he's given a lot to this conference over his years, and a lot to Eastern. He's really built that program. Program and done a great job, and we'll definitely miss him in the conference. He's won six conference titles, a heck of a run for him. Coach, uh, as you mentioned, what you earn is the right to play another game. Yep. Saturday night uh, against York. You, you've been in this spot a lot, right, in the last <laughs> couple of years. Tell me about what it's going to take for this team to go on the road and pull off that win and win the conference title. Yeah, well, we're very fortunate to play in 17 of our last 18 conference championship games. You know, we've been very fortunate to be able to do that. Uh, but you got a, you know, a big challenge. You know, I thought we uh, played them well defensively last game, and so they're going to make adjustments. You know, I think we got to, we have to make adjustments on our offensive end how they played. We got to play much tougher, and we got to compete better at the faceoff. So we'll see how we do and what the guys get in there. Uh, but we got to compete a little bit better there and understand there. But uh, they beat us in transition for about five or I think it was five goals, five other seven. Uh, goals came in transfer uh, transition situations and we didn't score any transition situations so that was kind of a really a big difference in the game I think if we can limit their transitions and that's how Harnick is so good and Vinapani is so good getting there uh, we got to take them away I thought all even we did a great job with them and but we'll see how it goes you know they're going to make adjustments for what they saw and that they think they can do as well and so we're hoping to, to play our finest game Saturday night under the lights up there which I suppose it will be and uh, it'll be a great effort you know we know we're going to play hard that's for sure great time for that best effort coach congratulations on a hard-fought win tonight Best of luck on Saturday night. Appreciate it.